that requires a base. So that's, I'm sharing my own personal philosophy. Because I believe the power of my decision can impact outcome. And if we can get two or five more to think like that, we can make some change. Yeah? We can make some changes. I told the students last semester. We have an association that takes over the college when they are here. And they decide they can't reach the class from 8 to 10, from 8 to 9. That example of very politics. Yes, I said earlier, so my politics in this this still way. But anyway, it's two or more persons that you want to find politics. Because politics is about what? Power and influence. Right? That happens. It's the sway the next person to do what you want them to do. So one person made a mistake and came to class eight to so guess what happened? Class started. Class started. How many others reach? One mess, I say, hear what? After class, you'll talk to that fella. And <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened to that fella after class, right? <laughs> so the next week, at this, at this uh, real life scenario coming, yes, the one of my students say that. Real life scenario. So the next week, lecture up and charge of this class. Class is 8.30, our class is 8.30, I got here 8.15 and I waited until 9.05. <laughs> Not a soul in the classroom. I can't talk to you more. Funny? Five past nine. Nobody can test them. Who had the power in that place? Who got here? Again, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you are one Who 
pants. You like to wear your own thing, but they have a, have a target set for you. And they want to find ways to get you to do it quicker and a little more because they have an agenda. What that was that agenda? Profit. What was that agenda? Profit. Profit. So you now become a tool. Well, human capital management call it an asset. HRM calls it what? A resource. Either way, these two sciences see it as something to be managed. So then you can make a whole jersey. And feel good when you see, hey, it's not very well, my jersey, I feel good. They decide you take into long to make a whole jersey. And it's one, two, three, four. So you sew the sleeve, you cut the color. You put it together, and you put on the print. What has happened to her creativity and her love for doing what she was doing? Nice. Yeah? Nice. She no longer identifies with that product. Wow. So her value just went up or down. Up or down. All she could make after that is a sleeve. That's so? Yeah. Who can tell you what that what am I referring to? The concept of what? Specialization, which marks for division of labor. And report. Pulling back to time and motion studies now. Because we feel it's just a shovel, but it's not just a shovel. I'm going to check how much sleep she could produce. In an hour. In an hour. Mm -hmm. How much color? And not only how much, you know, what to do to get her to produce? More. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I have a formula in my head. The amount of labor plus the cost of material. Mm -hmm. Over time. Over time. Cost so much and so much, and therefore. So I know how to calculate my profit. So yesterday, we challenged the group to tell between two persons put a million dollars. One put his million in the bank, long term, three to five years, invest investment scheme. Next man say here what? I watch now the market going. See right now, things are looking so hot for economy. This is here, take any side here. I'm gonna invest my million in a business. I'm gonna hire five to seven workers, pay them well, be happy, three to five years, thing nice. Which one getting through? Which one reaching three million faster? The businessman. Businessman. What's the difference between them two people? Investing in resources. One, one had people, one and the other one had what? A bigger capitalist. Yeah. So, a while, and then we have a conversation with Shah, a while. Right? In essence, we say you have to value your labor, otherwise, they will place a value on it mm. for you mm. and segment it. Create a formula, fit us together. So they went through a system now of separating and dividing and layering. So you work in the office, administrative, to be classified. You. Okay. I can't put you in no shop, no fork and thing. <laughs> so you know the uniform, guarding each other, I think. Right? Door. Very nice pose. CEO, administrative 
phone allowance, you better call him and answer when you're ready. Traveling allowance. Traveling, yeah. pay extra time. They care because children. The cook. Who get better to put any food in? <laughs> we understand all these theories, we can break it down to everyday life. That's why I'm doing it like this. The theory is there. But I want us to understand where we fit. Then we have. But I go take that one. I will need Lord more. I will need Lord more, making sure the landscape and the tape nice. Who will clean? Are we all getting the same thing? No. No. Why? Because they yes. categorize it. Just so we all, even labor, why we get the same thing? No. What about the housewife? Well, there's a reason why I didn't go there because I'm tempted to say the wrong thing. But I hear you. <laughs> we go in. No, because you went spoke to that issue in the 2016 report, eh? Yeah. Valuing even those contribution that a paycheck is not affixed to. Yeah. Right? Go up on Google, find it, it's there. Because we tend not to value. You make you still make up any wrong place. I wasn't going there. <laughs> right? I wasn't going there yet. We want to look at how they value our labor and more importantly how we value each other's labor. So while we say they, we are the speak to us. Because the administrative assistant. Mm -hmm. You have to tell us, Vinya? Yes. But that too. Yes. Because power by proxy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to be real. We can't sit in sessions and diagnose problems outside of us. We must see how we are part of and contribute to it. He would not see you right now. You have to make an appointment. As a matter of fact, who told you to open that door? You ought to have knocked and wait outside. I'm mm -hmm. contract go end chest now, and I'm going to do the same thing I tell the other person to do. Right? So that's why we can switch now. Labor valuing. What is the process of valuing the labor of other persons around us? How do we esteem the person who is cleaning the pool and landscape and the place and empty the garbage? Because if I get down back, I ain't no garbage, I'm feeling sick. Because my terms and conditions have to take 14 days, I got to take it all one time. And you too high to empty it yourself. Yes. And he not doing it. And I'm making sure that last day, the breakfast at the same time had egg and bacon and that's in the trash. Yeah. So time he comes back next week. It's warm. So it's nice. <laughs> it's warm. If we think about functionalism, which I love, and we understand how we all exist for a reason, to use, I can use my old one, she did, and she, I can't hear really say Because some of us who were collegiates were looking down at the others who were not collegiates. And she said, I will remain the, but one day I will stop shitting. And tell me what happened to the rest of the body. Ah. Now, that's the way she told us because she, remember, she was not academic, but yeah. she had said. Yeah. She said, so the day, well, let me use a nice song in a nice setting here. When we are the tree, we go say the way she used to say it, right? But let me do it. The day I can't defecate. <laughs> For seven to ten days, you are likely to poison yourself and die. So while the mouth feels important, and you have shh, the breath down, the breath pressure business. Listerine and all that. And white as something with the toothpaste. And you feel because here the smell bad, it lets that, it could kill you, it could shut down. So we say, we have to find out the value each other's give. I like Karl Marx because I'm IR. And therefore, when Karl Marx speaks to us concerning labor and the skill and the good cause, it built up consciousness in me. It built up my labor. So, where I worked 
Okay, but first of all, the time that I was not, I promise I was not. <laughs> I was not at the time. I was just strong after I found out who I was. So that's why the you know, session <coughs> block, the time that I read when a brother sense of helplessness and dependence of other persons to make the decision that will possibly possibly impact me when I know I'm supposed to do it. Right? I don't want to go too far. But here's the question. How do we quantify the value of each person's labor input? <coughs> How do we do that? How do we do Do we want to quantify the terms of dollars and cents? Or relative words? Do we want to do it in terms of esteeming the contribution of others? When I'm the president of the union, or the trustee, or the general secretary, what do we do? And if we could come up with a way forward in this room, we could go outside and spread that. If there's variance inside of here, no, we're going nowhere fast. So this session, unlike yesterday's sessions, really geared towards generating a thought, to provoke a thought. How do we? Look at these theories. They have a theory of value. So they place economics. We are just part of the economic matrices in terms of how to calculate profits and profitability of business. <coughs> go to school, get the job, get the work. Work for, me, work for my son who from school and smoking me all day back. He knows he has a coffee shop to run, a cloth store to take over, a cartel in the back behind the casino brand to run, make money, drive the best cars, ship with a chicken, he works, and your child self passes <coughs> to a level come to work for my son. And the son help us because we don't want to tell our children your labor could work for you, generate profit for you. You can contribute to. That's what this session is about. To provoke some thoughts, right? So we look at how they so how they call labor. Producing a good for exchange. But some of us have neighbors who is, who could uh, sit down on the um sewing machine. I think I am a little scared because it's sharp for that couple. Back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the pet, the pet yeah, lamp, eh? Yeah. That pet thing, the shop, the shop, the shop is a couple. Oh, man, that's that the same thing. That's 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 the Right? So you didn't have to pay a tailor, pay a seamstress, all that slavery, you know? Yeah. We're not doing theory. Somebody said I come to class. No, we're not doing theory today. We're looking at the practical aspect of oh, the labor. value of labor. labor and what labor really is. It is that process of converting raw material into a good or a service. And that process includes what? Okay. This is yours. Yeah. This is yours. Tilling right. the soil and putting down some seed. Corpus Christi, we love to do that and after that nothing. So we go to the market for five dollars for five. Your labor, how do you value your labor? So we panic because they look at supply and demand. So now the whole country panicking. I have a little 17 year old complaining. I said I go and get a little work to do for the holidays, you know, to get until September. <coughs> then can you take all the work so I, <laughs> I want us to see, tagging on the session from this morning again. My daughter would transition in between Form 4 and Form 5 during the holidays. Up to yesterday, in the closing of the camp, Ministry of Labor sent representatives to speak to parents about child labor <laughs> system. So the 16 and 17 year olds are not allowed to work, it is child labor. Mm -hmm. So my grandkids, Grandma, you see the same thing. 
That is why I can't get it work because I sit again for you. I can't hire me and Venny and then take all of you. <laughs> but do you think there's a correlation between the two? Conspiracy theory. Yes. I think <clears> there is. <throat> because for how many years, teenagers at 16 and 17 years would go and work in the groceries, yeah. wrap it down, yeah. packing yeah. shelves, yeah. working in the um, the I bookstore, yes, working in the bookstore, I this year the Ministry of Labor threatened to charge both the employer and the parent for having any person under the age of 18 gave for the employee, albeit temporarily. Okay. Came uh, yesterday and made that presentation again mm. in the closing from the yeah. Trinidad and Tobago signed on to the minimum working age convention, which is the age of 16. But that's how long ago that's Not too long ago. That's long. That's long. Long before the proliferation no. of migration. No, not too long ago. Sure. I, I think that was under. I think that was under. That was under. That was under. That was under. This is the sun and then but, like, but, but, as before, no. but, but, but perhaps they signed on to it later on, but it was observed before, long before prior that. to that, yes. Yes, by practice. Right, right. By practice. By practice. So what did you We didn't sign on to that convention. So um then <coughs> so we signed on to that convention. But it because in my mind the secretary is the Yes, yes, I agree. Bear in mind, mm -hmm. each recommendation is contingent upon member state capacity to implement, mm -hmm. right? Laws regarding it. Conventions are recommendations that do not come with sanctions other than that which is political, right? Mm -hmm. I'm saying, being a conspiracy theorist, I had to agree with my granddaughter that for the first time, because this camp was said last year as well, and in 2016, and this year, they have a whole awareness sensitization to a child. So when they come and they give them a child labor, when they came yesterday, do you understand why? Because markets, markets, supply of workers. Yeah? To the demand for labor. When supply goes up and demand remains the same, what happens to price? Drops. Drops. And when demand goes up and supply remains the same, what happens? Price. So why the union? It's telling the people to train to understand that. So when they do the labor market research, they can go and value the labor of their membership in a cautious way. So the person sitting opposite can understand, listen, don't bring that nonsense. Here. Well, My member is an electrician. One, there's a scarcity of electricians, and therefore, no? Mm -hmm. You can adequately value Remember we said the session is about sensitizing us as to how to, not so? Yeah. Not so? So when you know, we have about, I understand, 15 actuaries in the country. Right? 15. High price alone. But if insurance premium so high, you better pay them people, let them calculate properly the risk, you know. If we have a whole batch of persons being trained to be actuaries, those 15 people, where are going over them? You get aged for the graduation. Because you're going to cause their price to do what? To drop. To drop. And so. Mm-hmm. 
What happened with the natural game? What did they inspire you in terms of that? All the end of the world. The bomb has a period, so it's full of fear. Right. What I'm saying to you is, if you start that already, that percentage increased. It has nothing to do with the relative worth of the skills and competencies that you're offering. You should be able to speak to the notion on the other side that this, for instance, IT became the new thing. Now it's everybody. IT professionals will pay whopping sums of money. Yep. As a matter of fact, they dictated conditions. Similarly, you know that the buyer's market and the seller's market. When you have too much money, you chase it to do this. What happens? Inflation will be high price. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, it's a I want this to sell for $20 a cup. Mm -hmm. For not 10 cups. 20 persons. And the person who wants it, does what? Mm -hmm. so who will pay the price? It's the same thing with our skill, the same thing with our labor. But we don't behave like that. Because we don't know. We could find. Yes, this is the thing that I'm doing. Because you have to. Because you want your job, I can tell you that. Papa, I was a trainer at our college where we had a qualified sociologist to the law student coming in. And she was treated that particular way. She left. They thought she ought to have been happy that she had a government work. And they called her, and she said, no, that is not an institution I want to work for. They took on professional, and that senior does not know how to speak to people. You see what happened? She left. When they pulled her file, then they recognized. She was on her final year doing her master's, I don't know what she was doing, and her third year doing law. Already with her bachelor's degree in sociology under her belt. And she opted to become a prison officer. And some clown in a uniform who felt that he had the power, he had the authority to talk to her because she's a recruit and she needed work. She left. And when the commissioner of his call to find out what happened, ma'am, she said, could you please have my documents ready for me? I agree to it. I do not wish to work in such a system. She said she was coming in because she wanted to work in a section that she knows to be social work, which is in welfare. No, in that same batch, we had another person with her master's who's reading for her doctoral degree now, who's doing tutorial at uni, who was treated very poorly and stayed because she said even with this master, she got a public job and she stayed. She continues to be all the way to it. Why? Because she feels she needs work. What's the difference in the response? One valued what she had to give. One valued her contribution, while the other one did not. And that is what is separating us. That's what's separating us. You must know your worth. No matter what value they try to put. Supply and demand, yes, you may get somebody with a degree like her, but will they have the same attitude? Will they seek your interests? You have to differentiate. This is a market. It's a market. It's called labor market. Just how they want competitive advantage with their product, you want competitive advantage with your product, which is called the labor. The same way they want high price for their good, you want high price for your labor. Because you know the quality of your labor. So you look at Adam Smith and Karl Marx and a whole lot of theorists that give different perspectives. Some of them are green in the middle. But all of them agree on one thing. Without the human input, they cannot achieve organization objective, be it for profit or not for profit. And if when they say labor, they're referring to us, they've done the homework first. What are we doing with the results? I'm not saying go on the job and hold the employer to ransom. But I'm saying you're in a collective agreement that ends in 2013, you know, in 2019, and still wondering when they will consider 
your salary increase. And you want the trade union leader to tell you what to do. When a trade union is a bottom up organization, a top dog leader could go to jail for inciting. <coughs> because you remember they set them up nice with the trade union act and the condition for recognition being what response of a trade union. <coughs> So when they go to the president, say we strike him. It's all right, okay. For the president, what makes him a matter? He not selling boy corn. You have to take responsibility, and that's what this forum is about: valuing your labor and the labor of the person next to you. No matter if it's a garbage, or it's a vendor, or it's a stenographer, or it's a police officer, that's a labor and people. Oh, this is laborers. We treat them like laborers too now. So I don't put this up in their face and cuss them and even they try to keep us safe. Just let them put a plug inside it. Right? But they are family members or whoever do it, right? Police officers, firemen, firemen, when you see them. We can fire every fire insurance. Unless it's got fire insurance. Right? They are police officers, prison officers, firemen, soldiers. They are workers too. Their input, their contribution also has value. The system is set, but who makes the system? People. Right? I try to stay on track because I pretend that Google mind your business. Right. So we're looking at the opportunity cost of becoming a skilled worker. This is what they used to separate the example I was giving you a while ago with the administration, the worker. So the sacrifice she made, the sacrifice he made to become a doctor, and the money he would have made working had he not sacrificed that to become a doctor, all adds up. And because his investment is more, he is entitled to be paid more. We agree? <laughs> now, if we don't agree, therein lies the contention and the division between and among us. What doctor was? While he was studying, I was working. Two hours he was putting out. When you finish work, you get to form a danger. He had to go home and lose night sleep, get stressed, break out, exams coming up, to study. And he would study for more demands to be made on him after the fact. What we fail to do is to communicate, is to build empathy. We fail to esteem each other. And that's why I started with my own belief. When I understand you made a sacrifice, the union person that we cuss in because they don't do nothing for me. And they, 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 they. Right? My batch as we put on Lizzie as my batch. When you finish work and you go home and you follow up shares with all your complaint, she had to go home now and read for hours to study to put this case together. To win this case for you. Put aside her own family issues as well as work related issues. The trade union people perform a yeoman task, most of which you will not see. You will only see the outcome. When they have to go and negotiate, you only want to hear, how much we get in? When we get in? Sleepless nights, and if mama complains, there's more stress. Because most time with men, when they get in a zone, because they ego up inside of they don't like to lose, mama had to take a back seat. And children had to take a back seat. I have a comrade that ended up single, single. <laughs> because the association became his wife. It's not true. It's true. Because ego, you don't want to lose. Negotiation going on. So you find for hours you're crunching and you research and family life, family life, that's labor. So when you come here to talk theory, you come here to talk facts of life, reality. The labor that the persons around us are putting out, how do we value it? So the next time you talk to a union rep, say thank you. <laughs> Even if it is how we see it, or her, say thank you. I can tell you I did it for nine years as a higher 
Men det kommer ni med så bra, det kommer ni med så bra. Men jag kan inte med själv köpa för att komma till computer. Ja, det där kan man få det strategi. Kom för det strategi. Och det kan jag väl säga, kommer det där snabbt. Ja, bara du har hållbaka på att komma till computer. No complaint. Next one. What time you come in your bed, young? So I wonder when you were sleeping. <laughs> Sometimes I didn't come up with computer at all. When you do small when you bad show because I do like to lose and I try to not matter the officer must not lose no four days pay. So I'm talking from a place where I know. And here the greatest is the same officer as I tell them me after. So you tell trade union people, when you're doing this, do it because you can, do it because you want to. And do it because of the sense of satisfaction. Mm -hmm. My satisfaction is because it's with you. Or senior is on the other side. When he gets finished. <laughs> and most of them are senior because they're only senior to do this new prosecution. Right? And when I let him speak time, he walk out. <laughs> the officer already chest up in the air. When he see that man, put a charge at me because I just make him the bad and he tried to do it. That was it. That was the value net for me. The value net for me was having the fella and he was red like you. So when he come outside, he red. I thought he was disrespectful. He said, "Sir, you check what he tried to do, but I'm dealt with that. If I was disrespectful, I was just being forceful." Where did all we have to catch up with you? I said, "Sir, you crack me." <laughs> so that was the value for me in beating the fella. Right. I had two things going for me. I was junior to him and I was a woman. Yeah. In a male dominated system. So my value was just with anything, beating him, then he pulled the system down, and he lost. Yeah. <laughs> and now I came back into it. You want to know what's in it for you? You must know. This. This session is about building up consciousness. Why am I doing what I'm doing? What is it worth to me and those around me? If I could, if I could add something. Um, as you just mentioned, consciousness. Um, I was going to raise it earlier, but I started thinking about how if people in Trinidad and Tobago see themselves as workers and, and to what extent, because I guess work has become to men, in, in many cases, informal, precarious. It has become service. Most workers in Trinidad are doing service workers. Um, that they don't see themselves as actual workers. Or because they have the title professional, that they don't see themselves as workers. So that adds to how do you bargain as a group or even try to represent those people when they one kind of pushing pushing the union aside and saying the union has nothing for me. Many, I think, many people my age or even younger think the union it's has no place like in society yeah. in, in their sphere of life. Mm -hmm. How do you try to reach to them and realize and raise their level of consciousness to to say to them they are in fact workers? If you go leave your house or however your work is organized, nine to five, you work in the night or whatever, flexible, you, you, you're a vendor, you're a worker. And those people, that the kind of consciousness that we can see, I think there are many, many barriers to but it. For me, yeah. um, if you're going to use what I like analogies, <coughs> you can have apples. How many apples do you pick up your time? For the most time, most part, one at a time, right where you are. You build, and this is what happens, we operate in silence. But if you build a relationship with your colleague and your comrade in your workspace, it will translate. But what is it? They institute cubicles. Right, right, right. My chair, my desk, my office. Listen to me. When you look at the definition of management and the definition of HRM, the intent is right there, you know. They, they, what they, before we had one open space yes. where we talk about Sunday best, if I change up Sunday best, they, 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 they push right in the office. Yeah. Then they put in the lovely cubicles with the overhead with a key mm -hmm. for the locker. Mm -hmm. where you can lock away your staple machine 
<laughs> Yo, am I lying? So now it became, who take my staple of a meal? Yes. And then you put your name on that. Mm -hmm. So guess what, then you leave it. Then you gotta stay right. Gotta stay right. Who changed my chair? This chair feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. They tap what I refer to as our physiological need. And most of us step up over here. And we stay there. So what happened? Your comrade has now become your competition as a matter of fact. This thing called promotion. Mm. That we mm. fight each other for, right? Mm. Lord have mercy. Promotion. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about organizational need. Right now, there's a senior political department. They're waiting for a brick to fall on the head of you. So all who lie there behind your fella have to find an alternative path. Because he's young, he's not moving from there anytime soon. <laughs> and most of his subordinates are older than he is. So guess what? Everybody running here realize that this man is going to do until 2026. <laughs> I go to 2022. Let me, let me jump back out. So promotion, they create that competition between and among us. Tapping back to the same politics module that we know, Hobbes and Locke and these fellas and they, they speak to the issue of politics and how we interact one with the other. Organization is about behavior. This is why Roberts and these fellas and them study organizational behavior and how we relate to each other. They make this thing a science. Why are we going around, like what mommy used to call it, with the ring in the nose? And we want somebody to tell us, somebody to lead us, somebody to And we have the answers. I heard somebody ask a question this one, and we did the question. Yeah. Like the answer. We know what to do. Everybody wants change and we want somebody else to do it. Everybody else must fix the problem around us so we can be competent and we're not coming out. Even in terms of neighborhood watch, we're talking about crime. You hear the bit, them criminals value the neighborhood, you know that, right? Yeah. They ain't going on them for nobody else. Listen. A guy explained the extent of training they go through to change their outfit after they do something so they can't be passed by you undetected. They have a timer. Run. Pull that pants and that jersey off the line. And they have under three minutes, he said, to dress. to dress. Pull off, put on, and get off. I said, well, we don't hear me, and I find him training. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's the beauty of coming from where I came from. Yeah. Because he asked him, but how so come the best IRL goes from the door you know, there? I just, my, my, my bread, you know, put me in place, I have to fix that IRL goes from the outside there, you know. Say, Mama Sansa, no, you think about it. He's quite aware that he has said of the law that I cannot go to court. Because the way I came by the information is inadmissible. <laughs> but I'm glad for the, for the time I spent with them fellas and them. I, I mean, I, I stand. So I, I must no disrespect who dropped their pants on them, but I must say, pull it up. You will be a dear call us a nurse. I say, pull up that now. But when you fellas and fellas tell it, I read books from now there, people disrespect me now there, you know, man. And he's telling you what they do. They train to do what they do. They train. I, somebody sent me a video, I think it's in, in book 500 area. They killed somebody at what it was, a big high noon. And his machine gun two of them, and the last person stay until he makes sure he's called. I saw what else happened to graphic thing. They train to do what they do. The trade union that has a huge responsibility, huge, it's a huge mandate on the worker organization to ensure that labor is valued the right way in every aspect, politically, where's our voice, economically, how are we treated, socially, how are we impacting policies and so on, legally, law reform. How do we participate? That one I can answer. Because right now, the last forum we had done on Ministry of Labor, looking at the Foreign Labor Contract Act, mm -hmm. I think we were only able to identify two trade unions. Mm -hmm. Present. 
Yes, they invite them. They, they are in the process. They are in the they process of reviewing. Should I write a list of the Cyprian College Act? Yes, I know what. The Industrial Relations Act. And two others. I can't remember the other two right now. And the trade union voice, or the silence, oh, yes. I should say, yeah. is oh, yes. deafening. And that is not true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And only forums and everybody was present. present. All in here. 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 All in Yes, and she says she will do that in 2019 before it's done. Well, we are hoping, but we didn't contribute. We didn't deliver. The only thing that we are not sure about mm -hmm. is that all that we have put into it was going to be put into it. Right. Yeah. Well, maybe that is what they saw. But um, yes. I don't we didn't so. contribute. So hear me. And, 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 and this is what no, this is what I'm saying. And this I hear you. But hear what I'm saying. The silo. And that's what I'm saying. So you have postal workers, right? Postal workers. You had Right, they did not PSA because we know that that's yeah. an extra. No, they must there. I said, on wait for me now. Wait, wait, wait for me. We are running yet because I ain't running yet. We didn't have to. No, this up. And there's a reason why I use this particular form. That foreign labor contract act. And we know what that is related to. That's all. All right. The supply of foreign labor is going to impact on your ability to you get the requisite value, value That's right. for the labor of the persons whom you represent. Yes. Because there is an excess of labor on the market. So exactly. the that particular act is what I'm speaking to. Mm -hmm. Right? And minister, I don't know if it was intentional, asked for the labor reps to stand so she can acknowledge them. I think, I, I believe it was intentional because by that time she would have gotten the, um, the register. <laughs> because all who they would have sent invites out to would have been listed. Because maybe have a, it's, a, it's a team that would have put this consultation together. Yeah. And she would have asked for the register because Batiste Primus, you know, Dance. fly by night, mm. labor puts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think she did it. So those in the room, and it's the higher they use, eh? To see representation. That representation. And yet they complain. She didn't say that. Yeah, yeah. But again, I'm a conspiracy theory. Yes, yes, so when yes. it was done, I sat there and said, mm, yeah, mm. but I ain't no problem at all. And here what? UE was there. Hugh was there. Some, yes. um, Barbados, I'm from Barbados, was there. Um, there was this, this, this white man from the UN was there. We had two people from ILO. Yes, and I said, yes. 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 Yes.
I mean, and it, it when it goes back all the way to Eric Williams when he was having these community yeah. community meetings and so on, where where they paint the picture that these things are democratic processes, but they they are really not. One, we don't know what they come to the consultation with already the decision they've already Me. taken. Yes, they come for a stamp perhaps. The way some of these things are organized as well is not really to um, to go into depth yeah. about or substance mm -hmm. about any serious issue. Mm -hmm. And beyond that, the consultation is the front of the process. The real people who make the decisions yeah. are not attending the consultation. Yes. So when you invite people, it's really to mama guide them that we had a consultation. When these decisions and the people who are really ma making the decisions are the elites and the people who behind the scenes and give and, and passing money, I, I think we have to become a lot more conscious because people get very um, excited when they hear about consultations. When the actual decisions were already made, right? But I don't know. I can tell you the truth. <laughs> they announced on the, the door to the outside there we have the tea and we have laid out and made laid out nice stacks of food and whatever. And the two unions we have that for present were the first to respond to the invite. Mm -hmm. Don't no, ask them not to that consultation. No, I'm not picking on you, you know what us as human. And what we really go for if we do what we go for, even in the because even if you get that like input, you should be able to go back and report on what went over the what we said. And people were so busy eating. As yeah. I said, eating, not eating. Eating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some because they put us on working table. The one person said, you know, you're not gonna be a simple like a table. Because I want to see what we're doing here because I take in PS because I see PS from this ministry there, PS on that ministry there. So I said, I'm not your person next to me. I had a chair up a scene. I said, Oh, you got a chair. I got your coffee. I said, Thank you. I took copious notes. Copious notes, especially when I hear Cypriani College Act on the list. Some of what was said had to be reported back in the event that we had some jokers here. Who feels all skin and green? And next thing you know, the one percent of state of a Cypriot in the air for them. They are not really happy mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, telling tears out of school, we still evaluate. Yeah, I have to go there. Telling tears out of school, if you come here Monday to Friday from September all the way to the time school closed, you will not be allowed to use this particular space here. But here is written out the one percent of the school. To teach foreigners how to talk English. Yeah. Right. I don't get trouble for it already, so I'm telling all you. Here rented out. Yes, Colin is the truth. Yeah. Oh, because we have to value what we have. This is ours. Yes. Labor, this college is ours. And we sit in quietly and accept it. But here was you here was the excuse. The unions have not been utilizing this space for the development of the membership. That too is a fact. Right? One man said he not send any members here for the come back and get he no headache in his own organization. See? Well, I gotta tell you who is that? Like the swimmer. Right? <laughs> right? The next union down on that side, who remain with the most militant shut down the country today, decide them to teach their members yes, how to do IR until they get busted with the petrol train and mud on their face so they get a little weak. So the strongest union we have in the country right now is Bank and General Workers Union. STTPW. Yeah, I <laughs> the strongest union right now, in terms of jurisprudence, is Bank and General Workers Union. Right? Tutor used to have a little strength. But in a prison, we we there in the rings. We know how to exactly form our flesh and time to come. Right? Before trade union were in focus. 
Now everybody is for personal gains. And that's why we can't point fingers at the next person. We all have to check your own self, right? You have to value what we have to offer. Value what the next person has to offer. Mm -hmm. I want to point to the human development. This UN report, and to me it's still, it's really, really nice, right? 2016. That is still asking about suffering and disadvantaged, and they were doing everything in the working class. Mm -hmm. So you had some wide gaps. Going back to Max, but he said it, you'll have that extreme wealth and extreme poverty. Oh, and the erosion of the middle. 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 Right? And we see that happening still. My thing is, my percentage is, how do we value labor today? And how are we going to come about this value going forward? What process are we going to use? Are we going to continue to sell our labor for cheap? And if we sell our labor for cheap, expect the other person to do the same thing? Are we going to understand and recognize that our labor is what is being used to create well, working profit? This morning, Dr. Body, he showed you for news has and the intent behind supporting and fueling the huge and so call. How many of us we could drive a car for 10 years and we need to buy a new one? It's possible. So the reduction in the, in the number of years of foreign use was there was no empirical reason mm -hmm. for them to, to change that except to profit that yeah, group that, that was setting up the new the new Vehicle arm, um, sure. Mm -hmm. That was so. That was done for only for economic reasons. Not just economic for a particular. Coming for a particular group. A particular yeah, finance. But, yeah. But why I say that is because Maxi and Anton McCall and wow. Southern Sales, all of them, more or less, operate within that sphere, and that was only for That's that. Point. Yeah. You yeah. understand? So that's why I was saying the economic, but also greed. They are the economic financiers, Politically. right, of those parties. So hence the political side of it. But the main driver of it was purely economics, because at one time the average person in Trinidad and Tobago was going to the bank and buy a foreign used car. But the other thing is, it, it creates and reinforces a culture, a culture of spending consumerism. Every three years, you had to change your car. Yeah. It, it also affects the fact that we don't have a mass group of people demanding change to our public transportation system. Mm -hmm. and, and so the public transportation system will remain exactly as it is. Mm -hmm. Because people don't use it and people don't have need except the, the ones that who have very little power and means are the ones who use our public transport. And the rest of us, we have our cars, so there's no need. I can identify with that because I work at PTSC, I have been like their service, and our system is being sabotaged as we speak. Right? It is deliberately being sabotaged. There is an infiltration of Massey wanting to take over our garage and bring the, the bus and all the other units because of the fact that uh, the 1% never uh, consider or they don't care, right? They don't care. Of the public needs. I would say point that they don't care about the public needs. What they want to do is sell a product, right? A product of transportation. So they're now using some creative schemes to say, well, the shelf life of a bus is yes. seven years according to international standards. Mm -hmm. So we will take over your garage, we'll bring all the logistics and the manpower, mm -hmm. and we will force the public to pay us yes, to public. run the service for public. So I agree with what you say. But that is not, that's not a new model. That is not new. It's a model. Well, I retire, I can't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> when I joined the service, we used to carry the prisons, clinic, <laughs> port, hospital, everything. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. Because right, we had right, people right, who right. were so down in town, and, yeah. and they will travel on the bus. Yes? 
We had lads that would board the bus on a morning with us, cool night. And we have persons who will check in on them to ensure that they're in school the way they're supposed to be in school and go back for them. When we were here, Lizzie, that's when the lad, we were in year two, he was in year one. They will bring him, and the mere fact that we had gone to, yes, myself and Terrence went sick back. We are here, two officers. They said they're not posting the officer here. We are not responsible for ensuring that he stays out of trouble. And the transport would bring him and come back for him. But one day they forgot him. Yes. He came, he said, Miss, I forgot him. They gave him money to travel and said he should go back home. So I to see home. Right? His testimony is out there now that he has got his doctoral degree. He's got some of Right? And he left. And we didn't have all that. But now, now we have a malcolmate. Yes, Who has been paid to carry out the same service. All you needed was to provide extra bus and whatnot to the service so that, and back then, the same maybe I was carrying warrants down in town and carry, drop you off to the clinic, drop off the papers so we had to go and come back, pick you up, and head up the road. Mm -hmm. Now we have a bus to carry newspapers, a bus, bus to carry, to carry and then the amalgamated being paid to come and collect them, carry them to court and bring them back, right? And, the, and, and, and that, what happens is, Every time they go to court, the matter is being adjourned. Yes. So the system is working Together. in the way that it is but meant want to work. Yeah, we want for yeah, certain people to yeah, problem. Yeah, Our criminal set. justice system is not going to change. No. Gary Griffith is no. not going to change that. No, you know that. Because right. it, it is meant to profit. It is meant for profit. It is a big business. It is not business. meant to help anybody. So then we say, it is a big business. By, I promise them I'm going to do the same, eh? so that they will be surprised. <laughs> so then they say, putting them in the hot sun in that bus, with that traffic to come to and fro, and matters being adjourned by some magistrates who are even showing up. The model of performance matrix for everybody is under a and judge. The JP, the JP, the JP, because they are doing the matter. <sighs> so to avoid all of that, we're going to have video conferencing. So we're going to invest in a video conferencing facility. But guess who's going to be controlled? The video conferencing No. If I tell you the truth, all of the prisons, except the one far east, that came as a consequence of SOE. So there's no difference anymore, right? Yes. So I'm not political. <laughs> All of the prisons were built by the hands of the prisoners, prisoners because the magistrate and say had mm -hmm. But this facility within the prison compound is contracted off. And then we say the public sector is inefficient. Right. We say public institutions yeah. can't work. Mm -hmm. But the reason for that and you're the reason it is time. because you're outsourcing all the public services and the capabilities that were existing in the public sector before, they no longer have them. Yeah. But that's the point that you're It's being done by delivery. Because it is, of yes. course, it's delivery. It's an PTSC garage. PTSC garage well, services all, all, all the state buses, from army to prisons, all of them fire. Right? They fire them. All the bus. Fire service. Fire service. Okay. To add to insult, right? Our main facility, which is Venvenot, is now in private hands. That is a state owned, and we have to pay Venvenot to store our own buses there. Which I find that a, a, a total. <coughs> I didn't even know when they privatized them. When no, that happened? I didn't know either. But yeah, that's is it. Is it. Right. supposed to really be the state entity yes. that services yes. all so the public transport. TIW is right. supposed to be. Well, we part. hearing this because I know hearing this. I will say I keep everything when you're going in alone every day. That's what I'm I know talking in this meeting. But then, God, about that land, land and everything there. That's PTSD land. So it's it's just now I'm confused. Hiding <laughs> issues from the public. Just now I'm confused. Yes. Slow down. Slow down. Yes. 
It has been sleeping for so many years. Let's no. stop sleeping. The trade union leaders. I want to let them yes. make right. the correct right. statement. Sorry. Because Sorry. we are trade union. It's inside here as well. Right. So it's the trade union leaders. Nah, I ain't taking that. I'll tell you why I ain't taking that. Because it is. I ain't taking that. Okay, why are not taking that? Who or what is a leader? Theoretical. What you mm. So hear me. I hear you. We are mandate. <laughs> they get a mandate from who? The people. The membership. Yeah. Can the membership show any mandate that they've given to the leader that the leader has not been voted to vote? No. No. So it's, it is unfair and just to make that statement. I'll tell you why. Everybody want change. Only next man to do it. Exactly. You have to hold your trade union you leader accountable so if you right. give him or her a mandate and fail to support it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And if you fail to hold him or her accountable, guess who's the problem? You. Hmm. So we can't say the trade union leader. Some of the leaders step outside there and you only go in for a walk. If you have no follow up, only do so. No follow up. I have sat with trade union leaders and listened to hear the frustration. They call for us to go on day by day. Everybody busy. They try, they so they've got to the day home. Mm-hmm. But they want the trade union leader to go and represent. Yeah. Trade union leaders decide they're going to walk around the parliament. You could count a handful of people. Yeah. Era? Yeah. Yes, Everybody, nobody that. coming out. I and let me tell that. you this something. This is collectivism. If it was individualism, you could say the leader. Trade union is based on what? Collective is a collective effort. You are a bottle and they understood that. They, um, the people back then, weeks and days, they tell me they're not able to mobilize. I'll take that. But our predecessors, when they call that march from Strikers Village to talk, you think it's how we name alone was walking? The people leave the house unattended and they walk all the way to Woodford Square. What are we saying? Until and unless we recognize that we are part of the solution, we will continue to talk nonstop. So, so in other words, what has happened really, and, and I, I think it has been the most intensive over this past five, four or five years, our state has been really privatizing. Yes. Yeah. Our state, our state from not and, and it's not the only the not only the the major news stories like petrol trend and, and TSTT. Many aspects inside the state have just been privatized and without, knows. without people knowing yeah, and it just happened knowledge. in the dark and night. Yeah. And soon I, to come I, I will mean, I mean use that statement. Soon to come it's up. just that people didn't understand it. I will give you a, a yeah. food for thought. Right? Soon to come when we up. have uh, <coughs> CEO, right, under the UNC. If you understand the whole precept and concept that in which it was going was the privatization of all the state entities, right. the Chamber of Commerce could have put out an article, closed down all the state entities that is not performing. Right. And the same people who made the statement, it's not the same people, people who are buying, buying the yeah, yeah. state. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We know, but do we, know, do we know what is fair in those decisions? Profit. 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 Something else. We have somebody in the room here who know it. I know she watching the club and she will tell me because I know she know it. What is fueling? What is it? I think called conditionality. Coming out from what we refer to a structural adjustment program. IMF, yes, and I agree with that because. Because here, what happened? I criticized him in office and what he's doing until I get there. So we vote out, I mean, you have the 15% back, right? We need to vote it. Guys, in here. 1986 to 1990. Right? Robinson. Robinson. 
Yes. After he left, we hoped that the vat was going somewhere. Right? Yes. Only vat 19 was going yeah. down with truth and the bucket the garbage. <laughs> the vat still here. Why? It's still not because of the same thing and I was saying. Like because there was something that what he had to take responsibility for was putting his hand in the lion mouth. That's what he did. He went and he borrowed, and when he borrowed, the conditionality there remains binding on the country. Whether he's dead or he alive, it remains binding on our economy. So persons who took over couldn't go and change that. We, let's, you borrow money. As yes. HGC did it now, before you say, well, when he dead, they get when they dead, they dead. Why did you list in those persons in the household oh, above a certain age? Because so they continue yes. to be paid. You know that, right? Yes. There was a time you was happy because mommy dead. That yes. that that that, that, that loan dead. dead. Yeah. Mommy yeah. dead, loan dead. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> mommy dead. Dead continue to be paid by the, the beneficiary. Same thing with SAPs. Take a loan. Prime Minister come, Prime Minister go. Trinidad and Tobago owes. Trinidad and Tobago is bound by the terms of or the conditionalities of the loan. And therefore, that fact that as we think was one of the reasons behind the 1990 insurrection. One of, I don't know. I'm saying it's still there. So we said 12.5% now. It's the same tax generating revenue to pay somebody loan inside of the and part of the conditionalities also had to do with what privatization. Yes? Stands against nationalization. It's there, the research is there. Those are conditionalities that we live in out. As a matter of fact, they had to cut back on social programs. And, and cutting back on social programs fuels crime and fuels another industry. Yeah. Well, it's there. Just go up and uh, come on, Google is with friend. Mm -hmm. So when we, 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 we beat one party as opposed to the other, and this, we have to look and see what. It's a continuation. Yes. It's yes. really a continuation. It's a, uh, yeah, because you, both parties really do not have a set a different economic ideology. No. 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 no either both of them have the same, same economic economy. philosophy. Yes. Right. And they're following the same rule book. Yeah. Except perhaps one probably mm -hmm. a little more than the other one. Mm -hmm. But they're following oh, the same rule book and who is who is losing out? <laughs> Everybody else. Uh, right? So folks. I think we pay your ears off in terms of value of labor. It remains that any which way you to labor is what propels development. development. We are no one understand that. Labor is what creates wealth. We have to understand that. Labor, without labor, they have a million machines. How much acres of land? Must have some. Must we, have somebody there. How much technology? Yeah. Because if you don't have a person to press the button and turn on the computer, <laughs> can't turn on the computer. It can't come on very set. Can't come on very We as a people must value our labor to the extent that we can make a stand for social justice. Yeah? Yes. Thank you for chatting with me. in a session yesterday with regard to the argument of moronage and uh, some of the things that you all are saying here from that the argument of moronage is an option right to treat with all these positions or the change required to where we all have identified where we as a nation all right?
So I am grateful to be in the session and in the session yesterday. And it has enlightened me, and I hope everybody was enlightened as well. All right, so these are the few things we're going to end with. How we value labor today, right? How we going forward is an important question we have to ask ourselves, right? It is our labor that generates profit and further development. So let change begin with us, each one of us. And each one of us, from the perspective of me, let change begin with me, right? Because you have the ability to create and effect that change, right? So therefore, value your labor and value the person labor who is at the next thing. Good? So to end, let us value one another show empathy, realize that we are the solution to effect change, and always remember and understand and know your value. So thank you.